is um, Jeff. Right. Yes. Okay, Jeff. <laughs> so, um, in advance, Christina, I know this is probably not the uh, first place you'd want to be, especially <laughs> when people are talking about you, so I just want to apologize for uh, putting you on the spot here, but uh, really deserve some uh, recognition here for all of your accomplishments, so I apologize in advance. Um, Christina Kuros is a Cape Elizabeth High School sophomore, and she's a member of the Cape Nordic and Cape Outdoor Track and Field team. She is um, set, making history as the first high school Nordic adaptive skier in Maine, and um, the first Eastern High School Championship uh, champion uh, to compete in the sit ski event. And that took place in, at uh, Black Mountain. Uh, in Rumford, Maine on March 4th or 19th. So uh, very proud and um, happy to uh, share this with the uh, school board and the community. Um, she's also an, ult an ultimate female uh, athlete finalist, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But in addition to her skiing accomplishments, she's just an incredible person. Um, she has a contagious smile and uh, extremely courageous very inspirational um, and extremely modest. She is a little quiet. I think that's changing as uh, she's growing and um, going through the uh, high school process of maturation from a sophomore into heading into her junior year. So she's definitely opening up. And, um, but on the trails and on the track, she is a fierce competitor. Um, the inspiration that you're providing for all of us and uh, boys and girls in the state of Maine and uh, New England is just uh, incredible. Um, the opportunities I think that um, these young people are, uh, have the opportunity to, uh, to see and um, how to be a champion is just, it's really um, a pleasure for me to be talking about this and uh, we're very proud of you. She's currently uh, in first place as of uh, about 20 minutes. Uh, just checked on highschoolsports.net. <laughs> so first place right now for the ultimate female athlete contestant. And um, her brother Alex and sister Anastasia produced this video and um, published it to a highschoolsports.net. And if you haven't had a chance, definitely watch the video. Um, it is just truly amazing, and um, don't forget to vote. So we got to get those votes. We have through <laughs> April. All right, we got to continue it through April. So even if you're away on vacation, find the find the internet and uh, keep on voting. Uh, there's also a link on the Cape Athletic website too, so uh, that will help you guide you to the uh, HighSchoolSports.net. But there are a few people too that I want to uh, thank for making this happen uh, for the school. Uh, I'd like to thank Dominic DePatsy, Rob Thompson, Pam Vos, Haley Norton, Alex Shaw, and um, student volunteer Alexia Blaisdell, and uh, the entire Cape Nordic team, and especially mom and dad, Andrea and Peter Curls, for um, all of their support and, and um, providing this great opportunity for Christina. So uh, Christina, we're very proud of you. Uh, you're an inspiration to us all, and best of luck this spring. I think the uh, one thing that was just published, the MPA um, set guidelines for wheelchair athletes, and that's going to be an official, um, that will be officially scored in regular season meets and state championship meets. So another history-making performance here, and uh, I'm just thrilled. I'm so excited for Christina, and this is uh, really one of my most gratifying moments in, as an educator. So. And Christina wants to say a few things. Uh, I just want to thank everyone who has supported me, and especially the Cape Nordic team and my coach, Devin Morrill, because without him, I wouldn't be able to be participating on the team. And also, I want to thank um, the track coaches, because they're also a big part of it. And this was my first year skiing, so I kind of felt a little um, nervous doing it at first. 
and but I realize that everyone's supporting me and that it's okay to just go out there and try and that I just want like other people who have um, differences to be able to participate feel like a normal kid and not sit on the sidelines when they have a sport so yeah <laughs> thank you Christina Jeff, how long does the voting continue? Through April. Through April. Yes. Is it like the All-Star voting? I can vote as many times as you I want? Can. You can. In fact, Christina, you've been my Facebook status. Yeah. So it's like Chicago <laughs> so politics. Like, keep yeah. voting? Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you for taking that risk, Christina. That's what we love to see. Okay. Dom, are you going to report out on the um, Special Olympics? I just got to add another thanks because um, Jeff didn't thank himself, but uh, Jeff really pulled everyone together for Christina. So thank you, Jeff, for, for doing all that stuff. <laughs> awesome. So we had a special Olympic swim meet, and thank you for put, helping put this on the agenda because I think it's really important. We had 22 kids swim in the pool two weeks ago. And if you have never been to a special Olympic swim meet, it is a lot of fun, and it's great to watch the kids. A lot of kids won ribbons, medals. Um, it's really great to see the kids going up getting the ribbons from our uh, police chief and fire chief, and it's great. Um, it was just a great day. Uh, next time, if you guys want to go down there, it's, it's really, really fun. So a lot of kids had a, a, a great meet. And there's also a lot of support in the schools and families. And um, I think one of the most interesting things is that Pond Cove teachers take their entire classroom, several of them, the kids that are mainstreamed for a few classes, they take them all the way to the, uh, down to the pool and they cheer their, um, their peers on. So it's a really nice, nice event. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about this. Thank you, Dom, for sharing that. Okay. I think that that's all we have for recognitions this evening. Um, so we will move on to new business. Um, item A, consideration to approve the proposed 2011-2012 academic year calendar as presented. Do I have a motion, please? Kim? Yeah, I uh, motion to approve the proposed 2011-2012 academic year calendar as presented. Do I have a second? Michael. All right. Discussion? I move. Any discussion about the calendar? Well, for the benefit of the public, if you like this year's school calendar, you're going to like next year's school calendar that the school board is considering. And if you dislike uh, this year's school calendar, you will dislike uh, the calendar <laughs> that they are considering. School will open the day after Labor Day okay. for students. Uh, it has the traditional November break. December break, February break, and April break, and the other traditional holidays. So it's very similar to this year's calendar. Any other comments or discussion? All those in favor? Six zero. Okay. Then we have um, a consideration Ooh. to approve. The following policies for second reading. Um, Kathy, would you like to? In your packet, you will see the um, policies which we considered that they were JKGA and JKGAR, um, which are timeout rooms and therapeutic restraint and procedure on timeout rooms and therapeutic restraint. They have been re, um, I was going to say numbered, re lettered to JKAA and JKAAR. We had them in our packets last month for first reading. There were no changes uh, or suggested changes, so they are here for second reading this evening. Um, and if you might remember that um, this is to uh, make changes to the policy that, are, that is consistent with um, MSMA's um, 
recommended policies and also with policies um, of school districts in our region. If you have any specific questions, I know Dom is in the audience and I'm sure he'd be happy to answer them for you. Other than that, I move that we approve JKAA and JKAAR. Well, I, I guess we don't have to do JKAAR. I approve, so, I'm sorry. I, I recommend that we approve JKAA. Okay. I move that we recommend that we approve JKAA. Okay. I'm getting tongue tied. Okay. okay. A second. Okay. Okay. Discussion. Any discussion or comments or questions? Okay. All those in favor? Okay. okay. All right, so we'll move on then to item number C, um, consideration and action to approve the 2011 through 2014 Cape Elizabeth Education Association Collective Bargaining Agreement. Do I have a motion, please? I move to approve the teacher's contract for 2011 through 2014 as negotiated with the Cape Elizabeth Education Association. Okay. Do I have a second? Second. David? All those in favor? Okay. Six zero. Any discussion, or Kathy, do you want to give a brief? Sure, I'll give a brief okay. highlight, um, if I can. Um, first of all, the uh, there's a few changes, but um, a lot of it is similar to the current contract that we have. The um, major changes are that um, salaries in 2011-2012 will have a 0.5% increase on the base. 2012-2013, um, the increase on the base will be tied to the CPIW with a minimum of 0.5% to a maximum of 2%. And in 2013 and 14, the increase on the base will be tied to the CPIW with a minimum of 0.5% to the base to 3% as a maximum. Uh, the athletic and co-curricular stipends for 2011 to 2012 will have no increase. For 2012 to 2013 and 2013 to 2014, there will be an increase of 50 cents per hour for each of those years. And the other um, major piece is that uh, both sides have um, agreed to a commitment to look at different health insurance alternatives and that will roll out um, as things continue to progress with Augusta and the legislature. All right, thank you, Kathy. Thank you, everybody. Um, David, uh, yeah, discussion, we, more yeah, discussion. Yeah. Yeah, um, <laughs> I, I think just to add something to Kathy just said, that we're actually creating a task force to take a look at it. I didn't think Kathy mentioned that, but we're waiting until the state legislature passes something. Otherwise, there's not a lot to talk about, potentially. Um, and there's one other thing I just want to note. Uh, our intent, I think it's correct, the intent of both the teacher's uh, portion and our portion, the wording of the contract um, has some slight, um, could be slightly more improved. The Appendix A says the initial increase in uh, in, in two places for both 2012-2013 and 2013-2014. It really, the word initial is not there, it's only one increase. And secondly, uh, the increase will be based, the CPIU will be based on a yearly calculation as opposed to a calculation each month. So it will be one increase based on a base calculation of one year of the CPIW. Any other discussion or comments? I'd just like to <clears throat> make a, a comment. You know, sort of the new guy watching this process unfold for the first time here, it was really impressive to see how the negotiations were conducted. Uh, it speaks highly of the culture that, that exists um, in this school system. It's, it's sort of personified that hard on issues but soft on people approach, which is 
always the best kind of approach to conduct these negotiations, but it was nice to see it played out like that.